In the previous video, we looked at how to use a black and white adjustment to make the skin look more pale. This got me thinking, what if we use the same black and white adjustment, but this time use it to intensify the skin color? Let's go! Here is my first example image. I'm going to duplicate it and apply the black and white adjustment. I already had saved it as a preset, so I can go to my adjustments panel and select it from there. Let's zoom into the dialog so you can see the applied values for the colors. In a nutshell, it makes the skin colors, which are mainly yellow and red, brighter than the rest of the colors. I want this black and white adjustment to be clipped, or in other words, only to be applied to the duplicate I just created. To achieve that, I will need to make the adjustment a child of the duplicate, which we can easily do by dragging and dropping it on the name of the layer in the layers panel. Let's expand the layer and here comes a trick. I'm going to apply this black and white adjustment in the divide blend mode. Notice what happens. The colors we made more white in the black and white adjustment keep their color. This is because dividing by one or close to one results in the same value. So basically, we have brightened most colors except the skin. Because everything is bright now, or in other words close to one, we can apply the multiply blend mode. Multiplying with one results, as far as I know, in the original value. Notice how the skin has a much more richer color now. The other colors are also a bit darker as they were not exactly white, but overall the effect worked quite well, which you can clearly see when I turn it on and off. What I like to do is also apply a blend range to make sure the brighter parts of the skin are not affected that much. Or you can adjust the opacity to your liking. Let's go to the next example. This is quite a bright image that looks pretty cool, but suppose we want to have more skin color. Let me apply the same steps. Duplicate the image and apply the black and white preset. Remember you can use the preset button to create a preset from it. Next, we make it a child of the duplicate and apply the adjustment in divide blend mode. Now let's apply the multiply blend mode on the duplicate. That looks pretty amazing already. As a final step, I will modify the blend range to protect the highlights. As this is a quite bright image, I'm going to use a bit more of the mid-tones in the blend range. Pretty awesome. Because the background bokeh also contains a lot of red and yellow, it also got intensified. If you don't like that, you can apply a mask to filter that out. I can press the mask icon in the layers panel to add a mask to the selected layer. By default, this will be a white mask, meaning everything will be shown and with black we can mask things out. In this case, it will be easier to only paint the skin in, so I can invert the mask by pressing Command or Ctrl I or use the layer menu. Another option is to directly add a black mask. Let me remove the current mask first. Now, when you keep Alt or Option key pressed, you will get more options on what kind of mask you want. To get a black mask, we need to select the empty mask. As you see, this blocks the whole effect and now I can select my brush and make sure white is selected as the color and brush in the effect on the skin. The cool part is that you don't need to be too precise with painting in the effect as the effect was already applied mainly on the skin colors. So in a couple of quick strokes, you get an amazing result. To finish up the image, I'm going to add a bit more color and contrast. As you notice, the color of our scarf is the main color in the composition. So let's see if we can do something with that. I'm also going to use the same black and white adjustment again to keep the same balance of tones. Let's start the coloring process by making a duplicate of the original and move it to the top. As mentioned, I'm going to apply the same black and white adjustment and make it a child of the top layer we just duplicated. We have the black and white version of the image again, where the red and the yellows are brighter. As I'm trying to add more color and contrast to the composition, I need to have a color, and for this I will use the recolor adjustment. The idea was to use the purplish color from the scarf, so let me find a light purplish color. Okay, that looks about right. Now, to color the image, I'm going to apply this layer 
with the adjustment we just created in Linear Light Blend Mode. The Linear Light Blend Mode is a very strong blend mode and we need to dim it down and the best way of doing that is by changing the fill from the blend options. The best process for this is to pull back the fill to zero and slowly increase until we have a nice effect, which usually will be around 10 to 15%. Pretty amazing. I think the purple is a bit too much. We can try to fine tune the recolor adjustment, but I like to add a curves adjustment to fix that. In the curves adjustment, I will switch to blue and adjust the blue starting point to where the graph begins. That looks awesome. The purple halo is gone and we got a nice balanced image. Let's have a look at the before and here is the after. I think we did a pretty good job. In the next video, I will share a secret trick which is even easier to apply and needs only one adjustment. This works especially well with bright images. Thank you for watching and until the next video, don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like this video.